Good morning, and welcome to the I Am Statements of Christ in the book of John. And today we're going to be studying the uh, statement, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And in John chapter 8, verse 12, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And Jesus is here declaring himself the light of the world. And this isn't just some, you know, warm, illuminating, fuzzy glow. This is a, a, a light that has power, that brings not just life, but it brings eternal life. And he makes it very plain that following him will bring you out of darkness. And in him, you will have the light of eternal life. We see this referenced in, uh, in the beginning of the book of John, uh, in uh, John chapter 1, verses 4 and 5, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And as John was introducing his gospel here, he was describing in brief terms who Jesus is. True life in Christ is light and truth. There's no shadow, there's no darkness, and there's no gray areas. There's only light and truth. Or you could even put it in this term, life and truth, eternal life and truth. And Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2, it says, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Again, contrasting the oppressiveness of darkness with the freedom and the truth of the light. And in this passage in particular, this, is, this light is, is, is set apart. It is made particularly different than just any ordinary light because in Isaiah he calls it a great light. And how great a light it is that shines in our heart when Jesus comes in and saves us from our sins. This light and this truth, it's great. It can't even be measured. We have, in, in our modern society, we have ways of me measuring candle power and, and different other wavelengths of light, but this is a light that cannot be measured by the instruments of man. It can be measured by the changed heart of a man or a woman who gives their lives to Jesus Christ. And then to connect it back to the Sermon on the Mount, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, Jesus says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And as we discussed in the Sermon on the Mount series, Jesus calls us the light of the world but we are not the light. But when we follow Jesus, we not only become recipients of this life-giving light, but we become like a lens that takes that light and shines it abroad so that all can see. And so that through the darkness of this wicked society, Men and women across this nation and around the world can see the light and the truth and the love of Jesus Christ. And as always, we love you. God loves you. We're praying for you. God bless you and have a fantastic week in the Lord.